everyone. I'm Jordan Whitley, and welcome to an exclusive ESPN and Skype event. We are here in the lounge at X Games, in the heart of everything, where all the athletes hang out, and we have the one, the only, Tom Wallish, X Games gold medalist, joining us. How you doing, Tom? Woo! Oh, wow! Great. Apparently, you have a few fans here. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know uh, them, or? The yeah, I think so. I think okay. I know all of them. Uh, no, it's, I'm doing good. Well, thanks for joining us. And I know you've sent out some messages via Skype asking people to call in. A lot of tweets. Send in messages, tweets. I hear we're <laughs> using the hashtag Snowlow. Snowlow is now in effect. That's the new hashtag. Okay, so if you tweet, no. tweet at Tom, Snowlow. You only snow once. You only live once. Right? <laughs> you only snow once. Okay, well, this is how it works. Look, we have our three callers hey. up right now. Hey, guys, how's it going? Hey. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see we've got Corey here. How you doing? I'm What's doing up, good. I'm doing good. What about you guys? Oh, we're doing great. We're nice and Hang toasty in. here in the in the inn. We got a fire going. We it's the beautiful fire. here. We got <laughs> we got a little X Games on the TV. So, what's your question? What's going on, Tom? It's no low it is, but <laughs> I'm actually hitting you up. I'm I'm curious to know on ends of what do you got? I mean, your influence that passed over from you growing up in the sport and you watching everyone on, I mean, whether it's TV and people you idolize, and is it is it a trip to know that that's you now? You're, you are in that position? Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. I grew up, obviously, watching the X Games, watching, you know, these guys, Simon and Tanner and TJ and all these guys compete in this event. So to, to be able to come out here and do this event now and be a part of this and... It, I mean, it's crazy. I, I was the kid, you know, I always used to get posters signed at movie premieres and, and now I'm that guy signing stuff. So it, it's definitely a trip. It's surreal. It's, it's a dream come true for sure. Do you remember when you first met Tanner? Were you like starstruck? Oh yeah, a little. I mean, he, he's a scary guy. He can get heated. He's, he's loud and vocal about what he likes and, and he was stoked on me. I was, I was happy to say he was pumped on me, so it was good. <laughs> Killer. Killer. Cool. Thanks, Corey. So you're a big motocross fan out there. So um, we will uh, move on to our next lady, Iona. How you doing? Good. How are you guys? Doing great. You're calling from New York? Yeah, I am. I'm in Soho. It might be colder oh, there nice. than it is here. More snow there yeah. probably know, than right? it is here. <laughs> I stole it all. It looks sunny. Yeah, it's beautiful here. It's Bluebird. <laughs> nice. So my question is... Um, you were discovered by Level 1 Super Unknown Contest, which is an online video contest. What advice do you have to any skiers that are trying to make it out there? Yeah, I mean, I guess my story w was different and unique because, yeah, I did the videos first instead of, like, the X Games or a big event. So I always just kind of say, I mean, my best advice is that, you know, if you want to make it as a pro skier, the only thing you can do is ski. The more you ski, uh, the more you get out there and film with your buddies, I love it. I mean, I watch all these edits. I mean, kids don't realize it, but online, I'm probably I probably watched your edit. You know, I watch all this skiing. It's so fun to see. So, just get out there, film it, put it online, and uh, you'll make it somewhere eventually. It just takes time and, and lots of practice. Do you have an edit now? You got an edit? Yeah. yeah. I'm actually a filmer, so I don't have an edit. Okay. But yeah. But you're making um, the edits, know, right? What's your favorite um, one segment that you've done? I would say for me, I mean, I've had a lot of good segments, but this past season, being able to film the Wallish Project, my first full segment together, you know, full season compilation footage, that and, and the original Super Unknown video, those two are, are by far my favorites. Yeah, true. Wallish Project is fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, thank you. Oh, yeah, she's so cute. <laughs> what would you say are the three things that you have to have in a video if you want to get it out there and people to pay attention? You, I don't know. I guess three things. I mean, you gotta have rap music. No. <laughs> uh, you gotta you have, have a good, have good song. Music, you gotta have good music. That's the reason people are gonna watch it. Uh, good skiing and, and definitely the camera. I mean, filming. If it's shaky and crazy and all over the place, you probably you got a glide cam or something. You gotta keep it steady. How do you film? Yeah, I put a glide cam. Nice. Yeah, that's that what that you need. Thing to do. You need Definitely. smooth, smooth camera shots. That's that, that's good seller for the edits. Okay, we'll be looking for that video. Tweet it to Tom when it's ready. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now let's move on. We got Mackenzie over here. How are you? I'm good. How are y'all? Very Hi. good. Y'all are you where? Oh, you're from Texas, aren't you? Southern. Definitely. Huh. <laughs> well, hey, I do have a question for you, Tom. I've been able to kind of go a few places all over um, skiing myself. So nice. I had a question for you. Out of all the places that you've been, if you could own one ski resort completely wow. to yourself, Couple which one would you too. pick and why? That, that is a hard one. I mean, I've, yeah, I've been to a lot of resorts. I mean, 
the Alps everywhere in Europe is really amazing. But I, I, I think for me, I mean, I, I love where I'm at right now in Park City. I would love to be at that mountain. And, and anywhere other than Park City, I mean, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Whistler. The, the, the okay. mountain there, the snow they get, the village, the atmosphere. Whistler's a fun town. That's another one of my favorites for sure. That's probably an expensive one, though. That's great. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. You got to dream big. Is that part of the future? Do you have I don't know if I'll ever own a ski resort. I think, resort? That, I think that might be yeah. a little out of my pro skier salary league. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Never? I don't you can know. make it happen. We could try. <laughs> you could always try. She'll be your first guest. Yeah. <laughs> you know, shoot for the stars. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for calling in. Yeah, Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. It. Nice to meet everyone. Bye. That was fun. It's yeah, fun that was great. Talk to the fans. And now we have a video message someone sent in for Oh, we you. got a so video message. Let's see what Raphael has to say. Raphael. Raphael. Hi, Tom. <laughs> um, I'm going to keep this nice and short. Um, I just wanted to ask you what goes through your mind right before you drop in on the X Games course. Um, I'll let you answer that. And um, I wish you the best of luck. See ya. Nice. Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, a lot of people, you know, think, what What are you thinking at the top of the run? And there's a lot of pressure, especially here at the X Games and stuff. But for me, there is one thing. I, you know, I always remind myself. I, I just tell myself. I don't say it out loud, but I'm like, you know what? This is, like, what you do. Skiing down the park. This is so fun. And you've done this run a 100 times. Go have fun. Go do it. And I try to take the pressure off and, and put a smile on my face, and it, it seems to work out. Even if you crash, you still had fun out there. You right? can't complain. Sometimes it's hard. You get stressed, and it's like, you it's know hard. what? This is what I do for a living, and it's the best job. And it's pretty easy. In the world. It's pretty easy. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> it's it's pretty easy. fun. You make Not it look easy, easy. But it's pretty fun, so you can't complain. And what was it like when you dropped in for your X Games run? I mean, exactly that. We had beautiful weather, great course, tons of great skiers, tons of good people around me at the top. I mean, it just... That was fun. That was a good day to go out and ski. I wish I could have made it to the finals just so I could get one more day in on that course. It's a, it's a, it's a fun one. Well, I'm glad you'll be out there supporting all your fellow riders. I'll be watching. Fellow skiers on Sunday, so there you guys tune go. in to that. And um, now we have another video message. Cool. So let's see what they have to say from your home state. Hi, Tom Wallace. Pennsylvania. My name's Jesse, and I was wondering how you come up with new ideas for runs every year and which one's been your favorite to do so far. Ooh. Good luck this year. I'm cheering for you. Stay uh. gnarly. Thank you. Yeah, ah, man, tough questions. I mean, uh, for me, I take a lot of like come up with a lot of the tricks by watching the video. So watching videos of my friends, whether it's uh, the guys at level one, the guys at four by nine, watching videos of other skiers, taking bits and pieces, being inspired by all that, try to come up with new tricks. And then I don't know about my favorite run. I mean, for me, the, the best time I've ever had at a contest was probably the X Games in 2012 when it was under the lights, the only year they've ever done slope style at night. Oh, it was amazing. It's also the only time I've ever won here in Aspen, <laughs> so that made it good as well. But like under the nights, I mean, I grew up on the East Coast skiing at night, Pennsylvania, and, and it was nice. It was amazing to be, you know, in that atmosphere again, under the lights, big scene, prime time TV. It was, it was amazing. There's really nothing like it. Maybe next no. year it'll be under the lights. Yeah, again. I, I, come on, let's do this. <laughs> ESPN. Well, <laughs> We'll tweet at X Games right now and ask them to do that. And people have been tweeting in as well. So let yep. me pull them up and see what we've got. Mark P. says, Mark P. Hey, man, who are you most excited to see at this year's games? And who has impressed you the most so far? Good question. Man, that is a good question. I mean, definitely really excited to see uh, Henrik Carlo out there. He uh, qualified first yesterday, and he is a hooligan, craziest kid. I mean, he's got so many new tricks and doing a new switch tail butter double cork uh, on the last jump. I mean, Really cool to see that kid. He's a good friend of mine and just a, just a funny kid. So I've been, I'm excited to watch him throw down tomorrow. I mean, he just lets loose. And I know he's known for his And he's no got butters, those dreads. Right? And he looks <laughs> ridiculous, like the Predator kind of from those movies. Oh, he does, he, doesn't yeah. he? Because he wears that camo he's and those got it dark all. dreads. <laughs> he does his own style. I love that kid. He, he's always doing himself, which is great. And we'll see him tonight in Big Air. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's, he's got a good shot at that one, too. And now we have another live caller. I know. Hey. Let's do it. Hey Brad. Hey guys. How's hey guys. Going? What's up, Tom? How's it going? Good. How's, how are you? I'm great. Are you kidding? <laughs> Loving life. Right. Uh, my question is: Are you going to be on the East Coast anytime soon? And if so, you want to come to Mount Snow, Corinthia? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I don't know if I'll ever if I'll be on the East Coast this season. I've got like another week or two of skiing, and then I got to go in for surgery. I got to get my knee fixed up, so I might be doing a lot more 
couch time than I want to do this year. But uh, yeah, I'm from the East Coast. I'd love to get back. Mount Snow is fun. We, uh, I wish they still had a dew tour event out there. That was good. Yeah. Is that uh, your mountain? Is that where you go? That's your home mountain? Yeah, I got Rep and Corinthia. Oh, nice. <laughs> Getting some shout outs. Go, giving them a shout yeah. out. Well, hopefully when you're all better next year. Yeah, maybe when I'm better next year, I'll have to come visit you guys. Thanks, yeah, Brad. that'd be great. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for calling in. And now we have our first international caller. International? From Vancouver. Oh, not that international. That's pretty <laughs> it's close. It's Canada. Hi, how How's are you? How's it going? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, not too far from Whistler up here, but... Uh, nice. Yeah, I wanted to know, as a competitive skier, what's the biggest obstacles you've faced? You know, like, obviously injuries and stuff, but yeah. what else jumped out in front of you? Uh, I guess, I mean, for me, yeah, the injury thing, this season especially, skiing with my knee, uh, I don't have an ACL in my left knee, and that... That's been a huge issue for me, but more than anything, I think like, you know, courses and weather. Weather is a huge issue for us and figuring out runs on these courses. So like we had an event, an event this year in Breckenridge where they canceled the finals, but like just trying to survive those events where the weather's like that is like the hardest part about competing is, you know, doing these really hard tricks on a day when I probably wouldn't have left the house. So that's probably the toughest part. Yeah, I guess you don't get to take the day off. No, <laughs> you still got to try to go throw down. I mean, it's it's scary, but you got to do it. Yeah. And might I say, well, Jeff, you have the cleanest kitchen I've ever seen. I'm that like, is a nice looking pristine. kitchen. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, just the best, right? So. Huh. Also, okay. Well, now we've got a lady joining us, Miss Kristen. How are you? How are Hi you? Hi there, How are you guys. Very hey, good. Um, so I'm a mom. I have two teenage boys. In fact, they're out there at Buttermilk right now watching everything. Nice. But I want to know, how did your family support you in your career? And then also, what's the scariest thing you've ever done that just scared your mother to death? Oh, uh, <laughs> man. I guess I don't know. So I mean, many. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, probably the first flip I did was the thing that scared my mom the most. I don't think she ever wanted me to go upside down ever in my life. So when I started doing those and now, now we're doing triple cork, she, is, uh, she just learned to look away and, and grit her teeth and bear it. But uh, my parents have always, uh, always supported me. My parents drove me all around the East Coast, every event they could. We used to go out to Utah over Christmas break. I mean, they, they gave up so much and spent so much time and money on me as a kid. I mean, I... I couldn't be more thankful, but more than anything, just like supporting me, letting me go move away to go to Utah to go to school and chase skiing as a as a career and as a dream. And I think now with the Olympics and everything, it kind of legitimizes our sport. And I hope more moms like you let their kids, you know, you don't have to go to soccer. You don't have to play basketball. You can skiing is a real sport, I think. Right. Or at least, Absolutely. you know, a, a fun thing to do that can lead somewhere. What are your boys yeah. names? We'll have to look out for them. Yeah, we'll see them out there. What are their names? So I've got Ian, who's 17, okay. and he's out there with his friend Ellie. Okay. And then Asher, who's 14, and we'll be there tomorrow too. So maybe nice. we'll see you guys. Yeah, come say hi. Oh yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. And do you have any, any other questions for Tom? Okay. You know, I guess the only other one I have, but you know, there are all these kids out there who want to be you, and they want to be someone like you. And you know, if there was just one thing you were going to tell kids, girls, boys, any age, what would you say? Yeah, I get. I mean, kind of the same thing I was saying before. I mean, more than anything, just just enjoy skiing. The person that that's out there skiing the most and enjoying it the most is going to do well. One of the guys I always reference is Andreas Hotveit. I don't know if you know him. He's Norwegian. He's a, a year older than me, but he skis longer than everybody every day. Skis more than everybody. Smiles more than anybody. And, and he's one of the most you know hardworking, best skiers I've ever seen. And I, and I think it should be because he loves it so much. I mean, if you go out there and, and you love what you're doing, you're bound to end up being good at it. So. Yeah, that's great advice. Hey, thank you so much. Yeah, good of luck course. Good luck for me the rest of the season. Thank you very much. Thanks for calling in. Thanks, Kristen. So great to see a mom out there supporting your kids, yeah. doing what they love. So that's thanks awesome. to all you guys. Thank Appreciate you guys it. for calling in. <laughs> and now it's time for another video message. Wow. So let's, let's see what it is. Hey, Tom. Our teacher's letting us Skype you during class. We're from Dallas, and that's you. Our question is, what do you do to prep for a big competition? Bye. See ya. First of all, what do you think of their, their rendition of you? I mean, I feel like I'm not that scrawny. <laughs> I feel like I got a little more meat on me than that. But, uh, no, I don't know. To prep for a big competition, a lot of practice. So definitely spend a lot of time in the park and, and trying to get my tricks dialed. And then, uh, you know, hopefully getting a lot of practice on the course. And, I don't know, just kind of go into it. 
come up with a run that you know you can land and go try to put it down. Not right. much more than that. <laughs> I like that they were uh, sending that message in from school. Yeah. Still getting their work done. Can't believe done. the teacher let them skip class for that. Some in Dallas. Cool teachers. It's not a lot of mountains down there to <laughs> no, ski. I, no, I know, right? Okay, now we've got another video message cool. for you. They just keep rolling in. Hey, yeah. Tom, I'm Nat. Yo, what up? I'm Crystal. And we think you're pretty sick. And we're wondering who you look up to for inspiration. Bye. Another one, Skype it in know, from class. I think it's the, it's the same school. Yeah, I think it's the same people. It's the same room there. Uh, I, get, I mean, I look up to tons of people. I mean, obviously, all, all the greats from back in the day, Candide, Tanner, Pep, uh, C.R. Johnson, Mikel, Yoon, all those guys when they were doing it in, in Slope and Pipe when it was first getting going. And, and then nowadays, I mean, all the skiers I ride with, everybody in the Slope style events, uh, all the guys that film with Level 1, Field Productions, 4x9, all those guys. I mean, I take uh, bits and pieces, I feel like, from probably 100 different skiers and try to mesh it into my type of skiing. Are there any athletes outside of this sport that you look up to, like a basketball or someone that uh, just has this kind of career that you really appreciate? Yeah, here and there. I mean, definitely other action sports. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love watching Summer X and seeing all those guys, all the BMXers, the skateboarders, everybody doing their things and there's so many cool stories out there and yeah i don't know no one specifically but i yeah i love i mean following all the action sports it's so fun to watch it is a big family mitchie brusco and nigel houston are riding the mountain right now i don't know yeah. if you've seen them out I, there. I don't know how good they are at <laughs> snowboarding but they're damn good skateboarders right? that's for sure uh, i'm sure maybe it translates we'll yeah. have to get out there and we'll find see. them and now we have an, uh, another video message for you hey tom just wondering what kind of smiley face you like <laughs> what kind of smiley like face like an emoticon, emoji. Oh. How do you text? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like the the winky one, the one that you wink the, and it's got the tongue out. Yeah, is that, that's. that's it, exactly I think it's how got it one of those. I can't really. I wink that. <laughs> I don't know. That one's pretty fun though. Do you use those a lot? Yeah, I use the emojis. Pretty. Do your girlfriend. Yeah, emojis we emoji back. back and forth a little. <laughs> oh, now I'm embarrassing her. We'll move on. Yeah. Oh, we have some more live callers coming. Oh, in. nice. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey. Hey there. Hi. What's up? Hi, Summer. Hi. I love your goggle tan. It's awesome. I got a goggle tan going? I didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah, it looks really good. Anyways, um, so it sounds like you have a really interesting life. And I was just wondering about, like, traveling on the road. Do you ever get lonely when you're traveling on the road? And then what's your favorite part about traveling and your least favorite part about traveling? Uh, yeah, I mean, traveling, obviously, it, it's fun and it's great. But living out of a suitcase, probably my least favorite, you know, always only having the suitcase. Uh, the ski socks get really smelly, and you can't always find yes. a, you know, a washer. But not too lonely. Luckily for me, my girlfriend Stephanie travels with me almost all the time, and I have a little dog, a little black and white Chihuahua blue heeler thing, and he's, his name is Derek, and he comes with me all over the place, and he is he is a blast. He's a ball of energy. You have to get, and get the picture of Derek out. I, gotta, I, I don't really have a video? great picture Nothing? of video. Oh. It's, it's a great little, just little a, dog. He's a great little dog, though. So not too lonely, luckily, though. It, and Summer's, uh, she's calling in from Boulder, so nice Boulder. Let's okay. get over here. Yeah, why don't you drive up to Aspen and come watch? I'm actually in Snowmass right now. What? Come watch. If you Skype in, you could come. <laughs> okay, well, when we're done, you come down here and say hello in person. Okay. Please. <laughs> she's like, okay. Sounds good. <laughs> okay, thanks, Summer. Now Pete from Washington has a question. Hey, Pete. Pete. What's up, Tom? How's it going? It's going well. Can you tell me a little bit more about Derek, about maybe how he... <laughs> wasn't necessarily the dog you thought he was when you got him? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The funny story about Derek, he, uh, we adopted him from a, a shelter in Park City, and, and he was a puppy. He was uh, 12 weeks old, and the vet told us he was going to be 30 to 40 pounds. He never gained a single pound. He is 11 pounds. We thought he was going to be a medium-sized dog, hiking, biking, you know, being around. He's just a little runt, and he can't really, you know, He's just a little guy, but it makes it easier to travel with, so we're happy to have him. You ever dress him up? Uh, he's got a puffy coat, like a TNF-style black puffy he wears. Uh, yeah. He's got some boots in case it's cold out, but we don't dress him up. We make fun of him a lot, call him names, quote the movie Zoolander all the time. And You're a monkey, Derek. Dance, dance, you little monkey. I mean, a lot of good quotes coming from that movie, so thank you, Ben Stiller. That's fantastic. Does he go on tour with you too? I mean, he comes around. I mean, he he'll come around. We bring him to a lot of events. He he's actually famous for finding the most horrible places in the middle of the athlete lounges to take poops. 
So oh. he'll go right in front of the TV where all the athletes are watching, nice shag carpet, <laughs> pop one out, and it is just, it's mortifying. It would have to be. I'm sure by I now, mean, though, they would know that when Derek comes he's around, he's gotten better. This is when he was leave. a puppy, I guess. He's gotten better now. He doesn't do it as much anymore, luckily. Oh, well, he's all grown up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. And we have one last caller. How's it going? Hey, Corey. How's it going, Corey? Hey, how's it going? Hey, so uh, I guess, you know, what I'm asking for, kind of, you know, more so for what you were doing when you first started and kind of got going with everything, but can really apply to pretty much your entire career and everything that's going on is, you know, how do you really stay out of your own head when, when you're going up for, you know, these big air kind of jumps, you're doing some crazy tricks? Because I know for me, you know, that's the, the biggest thing that kind of prevents me from it, taking that next step is... You know, you're tra you know, picking up speed. You're going to hit something. You're just like, ah, I don't know about that. I don't want to lose my ACL. So. Yeah, <laughs> true. I don't know. I mean, I guess for me, it's it, it comes down to yeah, confidence. It, a lot of times, whatever the trick is, whether you're learning your first flip or your first spin, doing it on the trampoline or doing it, you know, off a jump into powder or the, one of the water jumps or something. I mean, it's all about you know, working your way up to stuff. And, and I think it's really important to be cautious in our sport and, and to progress, you know, slowly but surely. I, I've always said the person that, you know, can stay injury-free the longer every year. I mean, even if you're not learning something new every day, eventually you're going to get it all down. So for me, I think you just got to, you know, remind yourself that you've done it before maybe on a trampoline or visualize, know you can do it. And, and the worst thing you can do is back out of it. It's a a flip or something and you wuss out halfway through the air that's when you're going to get hurt if you land on your head you know it's confidence be you know be strong be aggressive and, and tell yourself commit. you're going to land it commit, commit go in it. there and get <laughs> the it trick. get it awesome thanks yeah thanks, no Corey. problem thanks Appreciate for calling it. in no problem. bye guys thanks all of you this is great we should do this more often yeah this let's is fun call in. let's just keep Hang it going out. <laughs> hanging out with tons of people um Oh, hello. Hi there. Hey, how, how are, are you? you? How have you been? Very good. How have you been? It's a good. How's X for you? Uh, I was, wasn't the best. I didn't qualify for finals, but uh, it was fun. Yeah. Well, how about you? you? How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm stoked. You know, nice. same deal with my knee and your knee. Yeah. Knees, skiers, huh? We can't get away from these things. I know. We need them. You but ready? they just won't stay together. I know. Are you getting ready for surgery? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go in here in like two weeks for surgery. So two weeks. Yeah. You got well, friends good. everywhere, rock stars everywhere. Mode Raymond, free skier, woman free skier of the year, just yeah. on, just announced. Congratulations. <laughs> big winner. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, I'm really stoked you did X Games and good job with all the ACL. Oh, thank you. Big props. Means a lot. Yeah. Nice. No, it's nice see to meet you. Nice to see Thanks. you. Who else is going to pop in? Yeah, wow. Well, well, I guess that's the end of it, though. Um, but I'm sure you'll be hanging out here and I'm here. saying hello to people. We're going to find Kristen Sons, bring them oh, in. Yeah. Summer's going to come down. Right? Let's do it. Yeah, they're coming in. We're all going to be hanging out. It's going to oh. be a party in here. Well, thanks so much for joining us, of Tom. Course. Guys, thank you for calling in, tweeting in, and for watching. I'm Jordan Whitley, Tom Wallace, and uh, keep it real and keep it locked on Skype.com slash X Games. Bye. Take a bow, Tom.